Hey, what's going on guys? It's Ryan Potter and you're watching Shine On Media. We're here at Celebrity Experience today. What does it mean for you to come out and talk to these kids and give them some advice? Um, you know, I kind of fell into this industry not knowing anything, um, so I feel like if, if I came to one of these and like you know I, I saw like a fellow like I don't know teenage actor or actress just kind of talk about their experience getting into the industry may have helped I don't know like I, I think I could have definitely gotten a few pointers and yeah I mean it's, it's, it's helpful you know any information is helpful. I'm sure along the way if someone's given you some great advice what's the best advice you've been given? Um, you know, the best advice I actually got was from George. Uh, George Takei, I worked with him on Super Ninjas. Um, you know, he just said, you know, if you're, if you're five minutes early, you're ten minutes late. And I was like, dang, I have to be 15 early, but yeah, I don't know. I think just, just, just being ahead of everybody else, you know, like waking up before everybody else, going to sleep after everybody else. You're the first one up, first one to go to bed. And yeah, you're just going to be working longer than anybody else. I'm sure you've done many auditions. What was probably like the worst audition you've ever had? Oh, man, the worst audition. It was for some like it was a commercial, and like they made you dance, but like they did not tell anybody until you got in the audition. And they're like, oh, so name and age. And I'm like, oh, Ryan Potter, uh, 18. And then they're like, okay, so dance. And they're like, and it's just completely ca caught me off guard. And I was like, what? And they're like, dance. No choreography. I'm like, okay. So I just started like busting out a move, and I was like, and they're like, okay, cool, thanks. And I was like. You gave me no warning. <laughs> so that was definitely the worst audition I've had. Learning experience, I guess you could say. And congratulations on Big Hero 6. Such a success. Do you think there's going to be a sequel? Do you know anything? You know, everyone keeps asking me, and I, I'm just in the dark as much as everybody else. Um, you know, it'd be great. You know, it's, it's, such, it's such a big world. Like, San Francisco can fit the world of Frozen, Wreck-It Ralph, and Tangled in it. So it's, there's so much to explore, and there's so much to see. So I thought, you know... It, it, it'd be awesome, but I, I really don't know. <laughs> it is nominated for a Golden Globe, so are you excited to go to the Golden Globe? You know, um, I, I am. We'll, we'll see if we if we'll see if I go. Um, I mean, I, I think I should go. I think so too. I mean, I think just being like nominated is is an honor, and being able to watch it from home is gonna be is you know because me and my mom watch the Golden Globes and the Oscars from home, and it's like this time there's gonna be something I'm a part of being not like you know being nominated in the category. So we'll see. <laughs> And what's coming up for you in 2015? 2015, I got a lot of stuff, man. Um, ooh, okay, so clothing line, like super limited clothing line. Um, the photography's still going on, but I'm, I'll be working with a few companies. Like, um, I'm putting together kind of like next gen, like like next gen fashion type deal with a few like with a few of my buddies, and it'll be cool. And for your photography, you're you're so good. What's like the secrets taking like the best Instagram picture? Man, the best Instagram picture. I think it's important like finding out like what you're you know like what what you like photographing. For me, I like photographing people and like the environment. But there's a lot of like food bloggers and like fashion bloggers that take certain photos, right? So I think it's finding that kind of that category you fit in and just really going for it and, and, and whatever that is. Um, but I don't know. I think uh, you know getting a good good quality camera and. Learning Photoshop. <laughs> Gets lighting, you know. <laughs> lighting could help. Lighting is, lighting is tough. Lighting is tough. I'm still learning lighting. Um, low light is what just kills me, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the, the clothing line. Can you just give us like, what's your style? What is it going to be like? Okay, so, man, I can't even. The best way to describe it is, it's my childhood mixed with vintage clothing. That is literally all I can say because someone else is going to hop on and try and do. But for people who understand Japanese pop culture and e even some parts of American pop culture and mixed into like almost like high-end fashion, these people are going to love it. Mostly a men's line or also girls? It'll be, it'll be unisex. So like, um, and I'll also definitely have a few prints like geared towards females, but it'll be, it'll be both boys and girls. Album. I'm most excited, I guess, for the song called Everlasting Love. It's kind of like a throwback um, early 2000s Destiny's Child. Important person to dress for is yourself. Never think that, oh, because you know this is the newest trend or because someone else said I look good in this, this is the way I should dress. 